Hey everyone and welcome to another speed building video. This is another modern um, style house. Um, again, I took some inspiration from um, a floor plan and from a, and, uh, from a picture. Um, the floor plan had a garage, which, you know, obviously I didn't use, so I kind of, um, there was a bit of, um, I changed it around a bit. Um, I quite like how it turned out. It's like, a, it's out on the beachfront, so it's kind of like a family property, a family beach property sort of thing. It could be like a holiday home, or it could be where they actually live, if they're, yeah. But if, like, they're really rich, they could have a holiday home, I guess. Um... But yeah, I'm quite happy with how this turned out. There's a lot of windows. I'm telling you that now. Um, <laughs> a lot of glass and a lot of windows. Because, I mean, if you're out by the beach, you're out, you know, on an island, which is pretty secluded, um, you want to let light in. You don't really have to worry much about privacy. Um, so, yeah, there's something. Um... Yeah. Um, it ended up being three bedrooms um, plus an office and a gym that could change you could make move make the gym a bedroom you can make the office a bedroom um, yeah, you can change it around but I quite like how it turned out um, there's a, a outdoor pool as well since you can't swim in the beach in this game it would be cool if you could, but yeah, you can't. Um, and anyway, lots of beachfront properties have pools as well, so you know. Um, that's alright. <laughs> Again, it's, uh, it is a, a, a quite a modern style um, with the roof, so um, like my last house build. So I'm looking to do a more traditional type build when I eventually do another Sims 4 build. Um, I'm doing... A more traditional style in The Sims 3 at the moment, but that might take a while. Um, just the nature of Sims 3 really is just, yeah. Um, I decided to make some of these windows the ones with the bars um, because then it gives them a bit more privacy in that area. Those are the ones that are, up, um, you know, a bit more easy to see aren't against trees. So, yeah. Um, also around that side of the kitchen which is a bit di uh, more difficult to see because of the trees but you know whatever it just it's there that's how it is deal with it no. <laughs> yeah and it's, the roof again it's a flat roof with the half walls basically that's what my roofing is that's all it is um because yeah it's a modern house and it was also what the house that I was using the plan for from was like so you know the little thingy um let me just try and change the pool around and um, so it, it's it's a pull into the the foundation so it's a bit longer um and then I also decided well not decided but it's not entirely white out of the thing but yeah what am I saying I'm like, what do I even say in these speed building videos? I've done so many speed building videos lately that I'm just like, what? But what do I even say anymore? <laughs> it's all right. I'm supposed to talk about the build. Um, so yeah, I put the kitchen here. It's quite a big kitchen, um, and I'm quite happy with how it turned out. I used those industrial sort of industrial looking um, cabinets, counters. That's it. Um, I just felt, I just fit for me really. Um, I don't, I don't know if the other counters really were what I wanted for it. So yeah, that works. Um, we put in a bar as well because if you're rich and you would be living here, um, you'd probably have a bar. And if not, well, who okay, cares? So they have a bar. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, I took a lot of. I talk a lot of garbage sometimes. Um, I'm just changing the kitchen so that it's not white again. Um, putting in a few of the things. Um, and then that live, I'm, 
put in a living space and it's quite a very small evening space to watch TV but I figure you're probably going to be outside more than nothing and more than often might what I don't know um but yeah I really like those chairs that came with city living and again oh my gosh I use so much stuff from city living because city living had some great stuff um it's just it's just the yeah um I'm hoping I love the objects in Cats and Dogs as much as I love the objects in City Living. Um, I wanted to put in that fireplace, so I had to um, put in another wall there. But, so it's sort of a closed off living space, but you can still get in and it's still open. Um, I'm just trying to f figure out where I'm just going to put the TV and stuff. Um, so yeah, the, the the living space is, is like the yellow accents basically. Um, those chairs I really like putting them together like that. It's 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 good. The, the kitchen chair, it's it's good way to do it. Um, I'd really like to have sectional chairs in The Sims Four because you know you could ha you had them on The Sims Three. We had them, um, and I'd really like to have some more in The Sims Four because I I. I think they're good, they can get them exactly, you know, you can get them how you want if you want to put the chairs around a corner. Sectional couches are good, sectional chairs, um, I want them. Um, <laughs> doing some lights, I'm do kind of doing the lights as I go, like the, um, it's just in, in each room as I go, um, and I like having that sort of, those cascading circular lights coming down over the living space because there's that open thing I like that and then of course of course um, I put a second sort of living area um, upstairs it's it hasn't got a TV who cares um, it's just a nice little place to sit um there's ends up being a bookcase over there so I put in so, uh, so you can sit and read there um, yeah and here I'm just doing the I think I moved those all of those windows on that side eventually. So the white the window so the outdoor walls, exterior walls that have the wooden panelling down don't have any windows, it's just um eventually, but yeah. Um <laughs> bathrooms bathrooms. Oh man. Um have I kept some kind of nice uh, what am I saying? Um it's nice little space there. I use the um counters from Spa Day. Yes. Spa Day. Um because I quite like uh, I don't use them often but they, they fit well with how I wanted it. Um it's quite boring colours, greyish, um greyish. It is very grey. Um <laughs> Bathrooms, but that's fine, you know. You know, it's putting a few items in there. Oh, I love that buff. Um, <coughs> things here and there. Um, and then the, yeah, yeah. But the bathroom bathrooms aren't greatly interesting. I put on the few accent pieces, but other than that, it's just kind of like a bit dull. But, I mean, you don't spend a lot of time in bathrooms, do you? I mean, unless you enjoy taking a bath, which is nice, having a nice bubble bath and whatever. Um, <laughs> but, like, there's three bathrooms and three bedrooms, like, whoa. <laughs> um, bottom of the bathrooms is downstairs, whereas all, the, all of the bedrooms are upstairs, but that's fine. Um, and then, working on the master bedroom, like, I was like, okay, I don't, I want it to look out onto the windows, so I decided to put that wall there, um, and I have it, and so, you, just there, and, what am I saying, um, finding the pa wallpaper and stuff that I wanted in that room was very difficult, I don't know, I wanted that bed, and I wanted that colour bed, and then finding everything else to go with it was like, I cannot do this, I'm, ugh. but, 
I think, I mean, there's some dark panelling. I considered a rib to match the bed sheets, but I was like, nah, so dark panelling it ended up being. Um, I think how it is now is actually what it ended up being. So that's nice. Um, and then, you know, after, behind there, there's the door to the bathroom, the ensuite bathroom, and the um, wardrobe. So, you know, it's, it, it kind of closes that off a bit. So it seems like a bit of a hallway or whatever. And then I put on, um, like, the coat hangers. Not coat hangers, but you know what I mean? Those um, sort of things that make it look more like a wardrobe. Like there's a lot of space. You slip through there. You've got... You get everything basically um and then did I end up going with some a uh, bit medium wood rather than the light wood with the dark wood and then a rug it's just a little bit of a space it's not there's not a lot to it but um I I like how it ended up it's not a lot but it's good I like it um it's good Wow, that's so descriptive, I'm so descriptive. Um, just changing some of the lighting in there. Um, <laughs> oh, and now, I was, this bedroom eventually actually became the gym. Um, so, like, I was working on this bedroom and I was like, what do I want to do with this? I don't know. Okay, moving on. Um, <laughs> um, this room became, like, a child's room like a little girl's room I don't know why I was picturing it as a family with older children like teens or adults like young adult children who go on holidays with their family or whatever um but no I ended up making a little girl's room um I don't know it just is it's how it is it's fine um <laughs> um I quite like how this turned out and I use some of those little um those, those cushiony things that came with movie, the movie hangout stuff. Um, I don't use them often, but um, if you get the right colours, they, they work quite well in that room. And then there's this is the third bedroom. Um, I'd, so I'd go with yellow as like the accent colour there as well. I don't know why. It's just how it ended up being. Um, nice bright colours, I guess, works for um, a sort of a summary summer replaced like a tropical sort of area so that's fine um and then i decided to put some columns there which was walls just to, i don't know it, it i i think it looks good like that and then it, there's so much space there that i was like okay i'm gonna put in some other things um and then i considered put doing an archway there but then in the end i just had it like that so it's the same room but it's a different room like if you wanted to make it a bedroom you very easily could you can just close it up again I don't know why that that one wall looks really gray it is the same wallpaper the same white wallpaper as the rest I checked it like so many times ah and here we are going into the gym area it's not much as uh, like the punching bag and the um yeah. um I always forget which um I'm supposed to press so that it doesn't go off on a different angle. Um, when I these nine um, yoga mat, punching bag, treadmill, muscle machine. I don't know what it's called. I call it a muscle machine now. Um, so, yeah, in that area, there's just a little bit of space for the family. Um, I did not end up keeping that column. I was like considering it. I was like, oh, because of that alphabet. But then I was like, nah. Um, yeah, basically. Nah, is, is the answer here. Um, <laughs> and now to go to some of the outdoor areas. So, of course, there's an outdoor um, seating area. There's an outdoor, like, the outdoor dining area, the outdoor seat, spa, or a hot tub. I call it a spa, and I always forget that no one else calls it a spa, so it's a hot tub. <laughs> um, right on the edge of the pool. So if you're brave, you could, like, be warm up and then go pew, into the cold water and freeze. Um, people would do that, I reckon. Um, if Sims could manage, could, could do that, they would um, have a dead or sim. Even though there's Sims 3 and Sims 4. Um, yeah. To the outside, it looks so white on the... 
<laughs> but like on the other side, and you're looking at it from the other side, there's the brown walls and everything. Um, uh, I decided to put in that little thing there, so just, it just adds a little bit. Um, and I, it's basically at this point is just checking, making sure I have everything that I want in it. Um, all the time, uh, I, that, what am I saying? Honestly, if you can tell me what I'm actually saying half the time, that would help because I do not know. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Just a few decor items. There we go. That's what I'm saying. A wine glass because, you know, people like wine apparently. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know why. Personally, I'm not a fan of wine. It tastes weird. Um, uh, yeah, a few paintings and a lot of them from City of Living because the stuff from City of Living is really cool. It's good. I want most of it myself. Like, for me. Um, not for my sims. For me, or my sim self. But for me, me. Um, I don't what. <laughs> I'm just making sure that sort of office area didn't end up having much in it. There's just a couple of computers and the easel and the guitar and the violin that's basically in it. I'm just putting a few decor items in the kitchen just to make it look a bit more used, I guess. Um, and yeah. Just making sure, just putting in those few little things for those finishing touches or whatever um rugs i like rugs and they are good what i'm saying um, i don't think i end up putting a rug in that bedroom one um but fairy lights Ooh, i like fairy lights um butterfly lights um yeah <laughs> again um you'll see that i'm skipping over all the custom content that's on purpose. Um, <laughs> uh, putting in that divider just to separate it a little bit from the entrance. Um, eh, yeah. It, it just, oh, I think I actually, did I end up going with that divider rather than the sort of living one? I did. Wow. Okay. Chose spa day item over a silly living item. Wow. Um, coat rack. Um, I can't even remember where to find it, so to switch it, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> I was just trying to find if there was anything more I wanted to add to the mask region, but you know, there, was, there wasn't really. That was kind of it, to be honest. Um, yeah, I just. Uh, I just made random sounds right then and did not say an actual word, so that's fine. Um, Just how it is. It's just, oh my gosh, I do this every time I go through and check absolutely everything, which is a good thing because I often forget bins and mailboxes, so you know, or a letterbox. We call it a letterbox. Um, <laughs> and then putting a fence around like the sides that are a bit more open, like the ones that aren't right up against the trees. Um, and a fence, and a glass fence because. I wanted to. Um, so it's like right up against there and then up to that point I believe. But a lot, not on the other sides. Like that one's like the entrance. It's not actually the edges but for me it's the entrance and then like the front of the property and then the trees are on the other side so that kind of blocks that off. Um, and then putting in yeah, um, just a few little things, putting in the bubble of things. I haven't actually put those in before, so don't know if that'll work out, but that's fine. Um, I considered changing. To, I considered changing the other form, but I didn't. Um, but here we are going into the pictures. This is available for download. I will have a link in the description, or you can search the gallery for. Um, my EA ID, Annalise MB, no space, no underscore, no nothing. Um, but that is all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!